Hey guys, Toad64 here at PaintedPixels.com, and uh, today I just wanted to make a short video. I feel kind of bad that uh, I had been trying to keep up a schedule of doing a video every week or every other week, and I kind of uh, fell off of that. Um, basically, school's kind of taken over right now. It's kind of kicking my butt. It's the, past, it's the last uh, three weeks of class, and uh, haven't had a lot of time to, to make videos about games, which I like to do. Um, so I just want to make a short one today, and thought that it would be kind of fun to show my Wii collection. Um, I know that a lot of people think the Wii doesn't have a lot of great games out, um, but I have a pretty large collection of Wii games and thought you might be interested in seeing them. So let's, uh, let's go take a look. I'm just going to sneak back here and grab the camera. There we go. And you can see here, uh, first off, you want to check out my display. Uh, I keep all my games uh, organized by system, so that you can see the top shelves, the Wii there. I've got DS, uh, 360, PS3, so miscellaneous, mostly the, the stuff over there at the PSP. This is half Sega Genesis and half miscellaneous stuff down there. Um, but let's uh, go over here take a look. I'll just kind of glance over them briefly, and if there's anything that stands out, I'll uh, pick them up here. Well, bit trip I just talked about in my last video there. Boy and His Blob. Um, this one's from Way Forward. One of the greatest looking games on the Wii. It's got a beautiful hand-drawn art style to it. It's really a lot of fun. And I love the NES one, so that one's, that one's a great game. Uh, I actually haven't played Boom Blocks yet. I got that as a buy one, get one deal. Castle of Shikigami 3. This is a great... Um, it's a bullet hell shooter with an anime style to it. I don't know if you can see that too well. But uh, really fun, horrible, laughably bad voice acting and plot. Uh, really hilarious to watch. The Blob Deadly Creatures is a lot of fun. The only game I know where you can play as a snake or a spider. Of course, Donkey Kong Country, Dragon Ball. Now, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, um, The Crystal Bearers. I still have not played this, but I got it as a great deal, so I just had to pick it up new. I think I got that off of Amazon really cheap on a sale one time. Now, uh, Final Fantasy Chocobo's Dungeon. This is actually uh, a lot of fun. If you like the um, like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and uh, what's the other one? Sheer and the Wanderer. Uh, it's, it's a lot like that. It's a dungeon crawling game. Um, all the music is fantastic. Uh, remixed versions of Final Fantasy music are really good. Fragile Dreams, probably one of the my favorite games on the Wii. It was an amazing uh, kind of anime visual style game. Uh, really hard to describe. You're just going around um, trying to find this other person in this like uh, post-apocalyptic world where everyone seems to have disappeared uh, except you and this one other girl. Um, really, really interesting. Uh, I love Ghostbusters. I have <laughs> I have so many copies of Ghostbusters the video game for every system. Uh, I have it on uh, I have it on PS3. I have it on Wii. Uh, I have it on DS and I have it on PSP. I like Ghostbusters. Goldeneye. Haunted House, uh, a sequel to the Atari 2600 game. Um, it's pretty sad that I like the Atari 2600 game better. Heavenly Guardian is actually um, the sequel to uh, Pocky and Rocky for the Super Nintendo. Um, they didn't get the name, but it's a lot of the same people that made the uh, Super Nintendo game. They just didn't have the license to make the name. Indiana Jones, Ivy the Kiwi, which is made from uh, Yuji Naka, creator of Sonic. Just Dance 3. It's fun. A couple of Kirby's, Klonoa. Klonoa is an amazing remake of a PS1 game. Fantastic game. And then there's these Zelda games. I don't know. Something about an elf kid. I don't know. Wearing green tights. Some You might have played it. Lost in Shadow. Fantastic game from Hudson. Uh, might have been one of the, the last games Hudson made uh, before they uh, were bought up by Konami and kind of they got rid of them. So Mario Kart. Mario Ch Strikers Charged. Mercury Meltdown, pretty uh, pretty fun puzzle game, um, and I got this, I think GameStop sells it used for some insane price, it's like, um, gee, I think I got it for, 
Maybe like $4. It was crazy. Metroid love. I love Metroid games, and I like Other M a lot. I know a lot of people really didn't like it, but I thought it was fantastic. Metroid Prime Trilogy. Great if you can get it. I know it's hard to find now. Muramasa the Demon Blade. Uh, this is a fantastic looking game. Uh, has a Japanese art style to it. Uh, and it plays a little bit like a Metroid style game, like a, like Super Metroid. Knights, more Sega love. Obviously the No More Heroes games, they are fantastic. I love them. Uh, I will admit uh, my shame, No More Heroes 2 is actually, you can't, might not be all tough in this video, still sealed. Have not played the sequel yet. One Chambara. If you're in the mood for a uh, girl in a bikini killing zombies, uh, mindless fun. Overlord games. If you like Pikmin, you'll like Overlord. Pinball. Uh, I'll just go to the other side here. It actually goes on over here. We got Punch Out. Punch Out was a fantastic remake of the original game, uh, or sequel, I guess you can call it. It had a lot of the characters from the first and second game in it. Rhythm Heaven. Everyone should play this game. Samba de Amigo I'd probably like more if it's uh, a little more responsive, if it worked a little bit better. Silent Hill. Uh, I really liked what they did with the Shattered Memories. I don't think it worked entirely, but uh, I really like the fact that they kind of did something new with the series. Sin and Punishment. Fantastic game on the, on the Wii. Sonic Colors, it's a good Sonic game. The modern good Sonic game, that's pretty rare. Uh, Mario All-Stars, got some Mario and some Mario and some Mario, Mario. So Smash Brothers, do I even have to talk about that? It's Smash Brothers. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of the New World, uh, really good RPG. Good action RPG, I'm gonna move Explosion Man out of the way. Explosion Man. Tatanoko vs. Capcom, fantastic uh, crossover game. Um, I never thought this would come to America, and then when it did, I was really ecstatic. These in here are pretty tight. It's hard to do with one hand. TMNT uh, Smash Up. This is crazy because it's um, by Ubisoft, but it's the a lot of the same team that made Smash Brothers, and, and in fact, the um, it plays really close to Smash Brothers. It even has the same announcer, which is very strange. It has a Smash Brothers announcer. Warrior Land Shake It. I don't know why this game did not do better. It was a fantastic 2D game. Uh, maybe not up to Warrior Land 4 standards or anything, but still really good. Amazing uh, hand drawn animation. Smooth moves, always great for a party. We fit, we fit. We Sports Resort. Oh, and of course, Xenoblade Chronicles, showing that uh, there's occasionally still good games coming out, even even to this day. For the Wii, it's going to be pretty rare, but there's also uh, Last Story coming out soon. Look forward to that. And Zack and Wiki, Quest for Barbos Treasure. A uh, really good puzzle game that uh, from Capcom that, unfortunately, not a lot of people uh, seem to buy. So that's, uh, that's it, that's my Wii collection. But uh, I'm also gonna show you, oh, let me, hold on one sec here. So that's uh, my Wii games, but I also thought I'd show you uh, a little more of my Wii collection, the ones that are actually on the Wii themselves, virtual console games and WiiWare titles. So uh, let's take a look at those. So here's my uh, main menu on the Wii. Um, Newest game I just got. It's really exciting. The English version of Monster World 4, which is the first time it's been translated to English. Um, so that's pretty cool. Most of the import games are just straight, you know, they're still in Japanese. That was pretty cool. Got Strider on Genesis. Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom. Uh, it's actually a really fun, kind of zany kind of game. Uh, it's like an adventure type game with menu commands and stuff like that and inventory. Super Fantasy Zone. It's a good cute-em-up shooter. Obviously Mega Man 9. 
Uh, Mega Man's awesome. Secret of Mana. Ninja Jajumaru Kun. This one's pretty simplistic. Uh, import NES Famicom game. It's uh, based off an arcade game. It's pretty pretty simplistic. But it's fun. Euphoria is an amazing game. Uh, this is a great kind of um, Metroidvania style game. Uh, never came to the US before. It was only released in Japan and Europe. So that was really exciting to get. Uh, Mario RPG, Mega Man, Pulse Man, which is a Sega Genesis game from the makers of uh, Pokemon from uh, Game Freak. Uh, Japanese Mario 2, River City, Bonk. Dory Me Fantasy is uh, another game starring uh, Milo from Milo's Secret Castle on the NES. This is actually a really good game, too. Blazing Laser for TurboGrafx 16. This is um, it's a really good... Uh, it's another uh, shoot 'em up, but it's really, really fun. It's got a lot of power up uh, abilities. Mega Man 10, Castlevania, Rondo of Blood, Xanadu, Punch Out. Last Ninja is a really good Commodore 64 game, but man, is it hard. F Zero, I think this is the first game I ever downloaded for the uh, virtual console service. Um, I was really surprised to find out myself that I never owned F Zero. My friend owned it, so I never actually bought it myself, I just played it at his house all the time. Mystical Ninja is a great game. Toe Jam and Earl. Gunstar Heroes. I have a lot of Sega Genesis games on here because I didn't have a Genesis uh, growing up. I had a Super Nintendo. So I kind of use the Virtual Console as a way to get a lot of the Genesis games I missed out on. Mega Man 2 is awesome. Uh, what else do we have here? Ordine's another cute em up for TurboGrafx 16. And uh, here's another shoot em up, Air Zonk, featuring a uh, futuristic Bonk uh, from Bonk's Adventure. Uh, let's go on to the SD card. It's where most of my other uh, WiiWare titles are. I keep a lot of the WiiWare on the SD card because it has a lot more memory than the main system's memory does. Uh, and these take up a lot more space than the virtual console games do. Nyx Quest is a great uh, indie game. Um, I don't think it got a lot of uh, recognition when it came out, but I know it's available on Steam. It's probably cheaper on Steam. Um, but this is a, a fantastic game. Cave Story, obviously one of the most popular indie games. Super Castlevania 4. Contra Rebirth is a lot of fun. Ease Book 1 and 2 for TurboGrafx 16. I think it was the, for the uh, TurboGrafx CD attachment. Um, still my favorite version of Ease 1 and 2. Bit Trip Runner. Castlevania Adventure uh, Rebirth is a lot of fun. Kyoto K is uh, kind of like a cute em up version of Ikaruga. Uh, that's really good. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles, My Life as a Dark Lord. This one's kind of cool. It has like a, a lot of the humor that you'd find in like um, the Disgaea games, actually. Uh, where you play a villain that's trying to... They're kind of incompetent and in trying to beat all the good guys. It's really fun. Blaster Master Overdrive. Um, kind of a... Not really a remake. More of a sequel, I guess. But uh, Control's kind of been a little bit better. It's not a fantastic game, but it does have a lot of the Blaster Master you know, feel to it. Sonic 4 Episode 1. Uh, I liked it well enough. I know a lot of people had a problem with it, but uh, all the Home Star Runner games are awesome. Toki Tori, another great puzzle game. Doc's Punch Out was a, a Club Nintendo exclusive. That one's really fun. You get to take on uh, Doc Lewis in the Punch Out. My Life as a King was the first Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles game, but that one I didn't find as fun as My Life as a Dark Lord. A little too repetitive. Jet Rocket is amazing looking. Uh, really fantastic game. It's on the short side, but if you're in the mood for more Mario-style uh, 3D platforming, this is a great game. Muscle March is a, a crazy title from uh, Namco Bandai. And I love Bubble Bobble, so more of that's always good. Lost Winds, fantastic game. Final Fantasy IV, The After Years. Um, I, I really lost touch with playing this game. I really was excited about it when it came out, and then I stopped playing it. Lit, it's another one from Way Forward. This is a fantastic kind of horror puzzle game. It's really good. Um, I, it had a really old school feel to it. I, I couldn't put it down until I beat it, and then I went back and got the better ending. Uh, really fun game. It has the first sin in Punishment. Um, anything else? I guess World of Goo is the only thing on this page. So uh, that's everything on my Virtual Console and uh, WiiWare service. So there you have it. That's all my Wii games that I have. Um, feel free to leave in the comments what you think. Um, did I leave any games out that you guys love? Um, 
There's got to be some Wii games out there that are classics that I don't have yet, but uh, I'd be really happy to hear uh, what other people like on the Wii. And uh, so hopefully I'll have some other movies uh, coming up pretty soon. Like I said, I'm going to try and get back to a regular schedule. So uh, until then, uh, thanks for watching.